Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're taking a look at issue 5 of the Men's Adventure Quarterly, and this is the Dirty Mission issue. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. I cannot tell you how much I look forward to receiving the latest issue of the Men's Adventure Quarterly magazine. This one looks a real treat as it's titled The Dirty Mission Issue. As usual, it's edited by Bob Dice and Bill Cunningham, who also designed the issue, with guest editorials this time round from Justin Marriott and Joe Kenny. As always, it's a beautiful thing to hold, with 170 pages of full-colour men's adventure action, pulled from the pages of classic men's adventure magazines of the 50s, 60s and 70s. This issue starts off with the editorials from Bob and Bill. This takes a look at The Filthy Thirteen, published back in October 1944, which would prove to be the basis of the Dirty Dozen book and movie, and many, many men's adventure stories that came after it. Bill's editorial highlights some of the many Dirty Dozen-style films that have been released over the years. Certainly there was a couple I'd never heard of, and I shall be checking those out. This is followed by Justin Marriott taking a look at Dirty Missions in UK comics. There were so many of these in British comics over the years. Justin highlights some of his favourites from Battle, Warlord, Commando and the Battle Picture Library. We are then into the first major part of the magazine, which is devoted to pin-up model, actress and artist inspiration, Eva Lind. Now, Eva Lind has been the focus of her own book by Bob Dice, and this is briefly recounted alongside an overview of her career. We are then treated to a more in-depth look at some of the artists and photographers she's worked with during her career. Firstly, Norm Eastman, one of the all-time classic cover artists, used Eva in loads of his work, often alongside male model Steve Holland and himself, often posing as a ruthless Nazi. I really enjoyed all the absolutely amazing jackets reproduced here. This is one of the most enjoyable aspects of the Men's Adventure Quarterly. They do take the time to make the contents really pop. Hats off to Bill Cunningham here. He has done a particularly superb job on this issue. Next is artist and book cover illustrator Al Ross. We are shown book jackets and the photos used as a basis to paint them, which is always a fascinating thing to see. Then, Eva Lind on the cover of various magazines, in a photo spread, alongside Salvador Dali, then a gorgeous set of photographs taken by Peter Bash. We then take a look at her relationship with another photographer, Earl Leaf. He photographed Eva many times, including a famous shot of her by the pool in the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, back in 1958. Next, a great little section looking at faux movie posters starring Eva Lynn and Steve Holland. Now these are totally fictitious of course, but are very convincing and some of these would really have made great movies. This is followed by Eva on vinyl and then look at her screen career with her TV and movie appearances. The remainder of the magazine is filled with 10 dirty mission stories. We start off with Joe Kenny's introduction, where we read about his introduction to the world of men's adventure magazines in his dad's barber shop, and how in later life he started to track some of the issues down. The first story is The Filthy Thirteen by Arch Whitehouse. This is based on real life incidents and the origin of the dirty mission stories. This is followed by The Wild Ride of Gibbons Lace Panty Commandos by Jim MacDonald. Prior to this story, Bob Dice takes a look at the original men's book periodical magazine and the impressive original cover art for this issue. More short stories than a fascinating piece on a Gil Cohen cover that had been altered not by the original artist and then sexed up to include a now topless young lady at the hands of a Nazi. This is followed by that original story, Free the Girls of Love, 
Captive Stalag by Charles Crample, with art by Gil Cohen. Now this issue is rounded out by two more absolute classics, The Five Wild Missions of O'Brien's Submarine Commandos by Len Guttridge and G.I. River Rats Who Blasted the Nazis, Sex Circus Villa by Roland M.P. Another superb issue, maybe the best so far. Now it does tease the next one, which is issue six, which is the heist issue, and I for one cannot wait to see it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed looking through issue five of the Men's Adventure Quarterly. Certainly is a fantastic, fantastic publication. Now I've reviewed issues one to four individually and you can find those on the channel and I will put a link to them at the very end of this video. So stay tuned for that. If you have enjoyed today's video, do please give it that thumbs up and do please hit the subscribe button if you're not already for regular vintage paperback action. Thank you very, very much for watching today and I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.